Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the Holy Word of God. Today, if you will, take your Bibles and turn with me to the 18th chapter of John's Gospel. And we'll look at verse number 11 as a text verse of Scripture. Now notice what the Bible says here. Then said Jesus unto Peter, Put up thy sword into the sheath. The cup which my Father has given me, shall I not drink it? And friends, I certainly pray that God would add his great blessings to the reading of his holy and his precious word on this beautiful day. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Amen. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good, fresh, hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Today, I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled Relinquishing Control. Admit it, my friend. The reason certain situations bother you so deeply is because you feel out of control. Life hasn't turned out the way you planned it to turn out, and you're desperate to regain your influence. Perhaps this was a problem for Peter. After all, how could a man brave enough to fight for Jesus in Gethsemane suddenly become so fearful that he denied the Savior three times? Could it be that his plans had fallen apart and that he felt completely out of control? How could handle fighting Rome with swords, or he could rather handle fighting Rome with swords, but he didn't comprehend the far greater victory Jesus' resurrection would have over sin? Had Peter understood Jesus' true purpose, certainly he would have been he wouldn't have been so fearful. Like Peter, my friend, you may want God and his will, but you are unsure about how God is accomplishing it. And you prefer to manage life according to your terms. But listen, it doesn't work that way. So let go of your fear and allow the Savior to work in your life. He has a far better plan than you can imagine. Accept the fact that God is in control and rest in the knowledge that he's always victorious. Think about this and then relinquish your control and allow Jesus to control your life. Now pray with me. Lord Jesus, your ways are far wiser than ours. You are much higher than we are. Help us place our trust in your purposes for our life and help us relinquish complete control to you Put it into thy hands, that, Lord, we may have victory in our lives. And God will thank you for it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. 
Well, friends, thank you so much for taking the time to tune in today. And I pray the devotion was a blessing to you. And if it was, you bless someone else by sharing it with them, remembering that your life is the Bible that some will read today. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Have a wonderful day.